could also nest, nest it. So let's go back to our previous example. We have, um, when the flag is pressed, we have a forever loop. And then we have our if else. But I'm going to change it slightly. I'm going to say if, instead of the space bar, I'm going to say if the key A is pressed, then we're going to say A. Otherwise, now inside here, I want to, I want to nest my if else. So I'm going to do it like an else if. So if A is pressed, say A. Otherwise, else, else. Here I'm going to take another one. If B is pressed, B. So because I, I want to say if A is pressed, this. And if B is pressed, say B. Where is it? Looks. Say B. Otherwise, if, let's do another one. I'm going to do another one. I'm going to go to C. Otherwise, if C is pressed, say C. Now I'm going to stop. Don't worry. I'm not going to go through all the alphabet. Otherwise, what am I going to say? That's all the letters I know. So let's run this and see what happens. So it says that's all the letters I know, but as soon as I hit the A key, then it shows an A. If I hit the B key, it shows a B. If I hit the C key, it shows a C. But otherwise, it says it's all the letters I know. But at any point, if I hit A, B, C. So you can see a little bit of nesting, that you can nest these ifs and else's and have in case you have a few cases. What if it's not, did you pass or fail? But if the grade is above a 90, say, you got an A. Otherwise, if it's above an 80, say you got a B. Otherwise, if it's above a 70, say you got a C. So you can think of examples where you do want this nesting to happen.